Hey there, it's Miley with CloudApp. Today we're going to be going over a practical guide to team collaboration in 2020. Um, so first we'll go over what is team collaboration. Um, the phrase can be thrown around, but uh, we want to make sure we establish what it really means. Um, why is it important? So it helps um, improve productivity, um, it leads to more innovation, uh, less staff turnover as well, um, because not only will your employees feel um, like they are making a difference and contributing to the team, um, but also it will boost performance. Um, so there are a lot of things there that if you're working together and actually um, communicating correctly and um, collaborating well, um, that will lead to less turnover. And then we'll go over some steps to improve team collaboration. So first is obviously to make it a priority. Um, if, if you're not letting your employees know that you expect collaboration and that you encourage it, um, it may fall by the wayside. The second will be to set clear team collaboration goals. Um, so whether this be, you know, uh, saying, okay, for each project we're going to have a, you know, a, a planning session at the beginning and then maybe a post-mortem at the end um, and, uh, you know, encouraging um, encouraging your employees to use a platform like, like CloudApp to collaborate daily, um, whether it be, okay, make sure to send a video every time you have a question um, instead of just an email or something like that. Um, you obviously need to set those goals, otherwise it may not happen. So, and then uh, the third is to use the right team collaboration tools. So as I mentioned, CloudUp is a great one, um, but there are some other tools like Trello for like project management software. Slack um, is a great way to um, stay in contact. Um, you can also easily post, uh, you can easily post your um, CloudUp links there so that you can send them to each other easily. Um, and it creates a good, um, a good company culture of maybe a little lighthearted, um, maybe sending a GIF every once in a while or something like that. Um, you can use High Five to host virtual meetings that will help you stay on the same page. Um, and then when you aren't able to all get together at the same time for a, a longer meeting, using Cloud App in the meantime to um, send videos back and forth to each other is a great way um, of kind of bridging the gap between those meetings. Um, you can also use G Suite um, so that you can all collaborate at the same time on the same document. Um, and then as I've mentioned, Cloud App. Uh, I, I use it every day and um, it's definitely helped improve my collaboration process with my coworkers. And then the fourth step is to optimize your team collaboration efforts. So um, basically you'll want to make sure you know your team. Um, and that may be important, not only just like knowing who they are and what responsibility they have, but uh, maybe doing a fun activity every once in a while to strength, to strengthen the team, um, and that'll help people get to know each other better. So um, something like that. Also recognize when you have extraordinary results. Um, this can be an overlooked step when things are so busy, but um, it will lead to um, greater collaboration in the future and better results if people are realizing that they can um, be recognized for the hard work they're putting in. And then make it fun. Um, like I've said, doing slacks um, can be really fun, just sending funny gifts to each other, um, going out to eat for a lunch or something like that, um, or just like sending fun videos to each other and uh, just keeping things light and fun while still focusing on your goals will help. So um, in order to become a master in team collaboration, um, make sure to read these steps on the blog um, and implement them. And hopefully that helps uh, make your uh, team collaboration that much better in 2020.